the time has come for us to make it to Maine. We are gonna take Mr. Lemon, our Class B van, from Phoenix, Arizona, all the way up to the East Coast, to Maine. And we have five days to make it to Maine. The first two days is gonna be me driving Mr. Lemon all by myself, all the way to the Dallas airport, where I'm going to pick up Bob because he has meetings he cannot miss. So I have volunteered as tribute. I volunteer as tribute. To drive the van all by myself for the first two days so that we can make it to Maine in five days. So we better get started. We have too much stuff. Okay, one thing we added is a first aid kit. Shout out to Bob's Uncle Randy. He really stressed the importance of us getting a first aid kit and different things like that. So we'll have to show you what's in it some other time because we're running out of time. First to two days on the road. Here we go. Hardened in the tail, tempered by the years, soft away. Well, joke's on me because as soon as I got in the car, like within five minutes, it alerted me that our fuel was low. 37 miles isn't going to get me far, so let's fill her up. 49 a gallon. Not terrible, but it was just like 319 the other day. <laughs> so that's a bummer. Take two. We've got gas. Shows I have 280 miles. Hmm. Maybe did it feel it says it's all the way full, so okay. And we have 571 miles to do today. I just love the sunrises. I think I see the sunrise every single day. I'm an early riser. So this is just a great start to the trip, just seeing the sunrise. We've been on the road for almost an hour. Oh, the lighting is terrible, but good news. I found a gas station. I have about a half a tank, but I would rather play it safe and just fill up with gas right now. I need to use the restroom, so, and I need more coffee. I am feeling tired. I've been driving for two hours, so pretty proud of myself. I'm in Benson, Arizona, and it says I have six hours and 22 minutes left and we are going to a loves oh gas is 309 okay let's go Got our coffee. <sighs> Let's get some gas. Okay, time to get back on the road. Mexico. Oh my gosh, I did not know that we were almost in New Mexico. I've just been sitting here driving. It is, let's see, 9.22 a.m. I left the house at 5.30 this morning and um, 
Let's see. We have 361 miles to go. Says a little over five hours until we get there. And I don't think I've shared where there is for today's uh, stop. So where there is, hopefully you can hear me. This, sometimes this car is very loud. But where today, where there is, is Carlsbad, New Mexico. So today's goal was to get from Phoenix, Arizona-ish to Carlsbad, New Mexico, which is eight and a half hours of driving. I ended up getting a campsite. I was going to do a harvest host, but I couldn't really find any around that location. Oh, geez, a little windy. Um, so I ended up renting, I ended up getting a campsite at a KOA. So the exciting part is, is I've never, Bob and I both have never stayed at a KOA. So, so there's the first time for everything. And that is today. We are headed to Carlsbad, New Mexico to stay at a KOA. Oh, and it'll be the first night that I've ever stayed in the van. Like without Bob or like, Without people I at least knew around me because I've done one other oh 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 hold on hold on this this RV smoking I don't know if that's normal whatever that car was looks like anyways the solo trip I did a couple of years ago I think a couple or one year ago I don't even remember but anyways that solo trip I went to my family's house and so this is the first time ever that I'm like staying at a campsite by myself and having to figure everything out by myself. So it'll be fine. I have all the faith. I have faith in myself. So anyways, back to driving. Okay. It's been, I think it's been a couple of hours. Um, let's see. What time is it? It's 1030. So maybe hour, hour and a half since my last stop, but I just can feel myself getting so tired. I need to use the bathroom, but I'm probably gonna just use ours. But yeah, I'm just getting gas. It's 2.99 here. We're still in New Mexico, which obviously, I think, I, I think this route dips down into Texas and then comes back up, if I read the map right. I've been on the road for five hours and I'm so tired. I'm just listening to a podcast right now. Yeah gas stop in the middle of New Mexico somewhere. Have no idea where I am. Gas, check. Bathroom, check. Water, check. Okay. We have 279 miles to go today. Okay, gas. Everything's good. This is all shut. Got a big booty. Should probably put this down. Shouldn't probably drink and drive. It's probably not smart, especially when I don't know where I am. Ah! Scared me. Oh my gosh. Stepdad's calling. Hold on. Hello? Hey. Hey. We made it to Las Cruces. I really, really hope I'm saying that right. I need lunch because I need more energy. I'm starting to feel tired again. And so I'm ready to get out and take a nice long break. And then we'll have three and a half hours to go to the KOA in Carlsbad, New Mexico. Okay, so scratch that. Las Cruces, not happening. I literally missed all the exits for food. So now we're on our way to El Paso and we're leaving. I just missed my turn. So I'm hoping this is the right one. We're still going the right way, but look, Welcome to Texas! We did it! Oh my word. Now, granted, we're gonna go back up to New Mexico to stay 
at the KOA in Carlsbad, New Mexico today. But for now, we're in Texas. Don't know what I did though by not taking the turn that they told me to take. It added a few minutes by not taking that turn. I do need to stop and eat and look at our map and make sure we're still good to go. Now I know why I missed that turn. This way added 13 minutes, which doesn't seem like a lot, but I feel like it's like an hour. I have a Whataburger picked out in 2.8 miles and it says it's gonna take 13 minutes to get there. Such a bummer. Oh, darn. Darn, I wish I was paying attention and didn't miss my road. You win some, you lose some. We made it out of the traffic. Now, I have to get off at the first exit, which is right here. Right, right, right. Ah. Um, because I have to go to the bathroom. Do I want McDonald's or Whataburger? What do I want, guys? Oh, I love, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I love a good McDonald's. They have Sonic, but Sonic wouldn't be friendly to vans, I would think. They have IHOP, but I don't want to do a sit down. Oh, they have lots of good places, yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy about this. Oh no. Whataburger? Or tried and true McDonald's. Oh, we're on, we're at some outlets. No time for shopping. Okay, what a burger one. I think McDonald's was in a gas station, so that deterred me. Let's park right here. Because we definitely can't do a drive through. Well, I have to go back there, so. Lunch was good. Oh no. Am I gonna have to get back in that traffic? I'll be so sad. Oh I am. Oh no. Oh. The traffic backed up again. Oh, it's such a bummer. I think. I think. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I do not want to sit in traffic again. Okay, so I went to Whataburger, had a cheeseburger and fry. It was delicious. It's exactly what I needed. And now we are two hours and 56 minutes away from our destination for today at 100 and 192 miles. And I have 248 miles uh, range. So we're probably, gonna, we're probably, I don't know if we'll stop and get gas before we get there. I guess it'll depend if I have to go to the bathroom or stretch my legs. So, uh, let's get back on the road. Okay, what am I doing? I don't know what just flew everywhere, but something flew. Crap. I don't know what it was. We're just gonna pretend like nothing happened. Looks like there's some kind of stop coming up it says be prepared to stop when flashing okay we'll see what this is customs and border protection border control okay canine on duty border patrol checkpoint interesting so, is there a person right here? Hopefully. Thanks. Okay. Awesome. He said I was good. My word, we did it. Oh my word. I'm 0.5 miles away from this KOA. I'm just so excited to be here. What a freaking long day. 
Wow. I left at 5.30 this morning. So add all the stops and the gas and everything in. And that's what we got. Pulling in at four o'clock. Carlsbad KOA. Where did we go? Huh. Round. My favorite thing to do when we go to RV parks is check out everybody else's rig. Weird, I know, but I love it. Oh, here we go. All right, all right, here we go. We're here, here's registration. All right, I'm not gonna take the camera in. I'll be here back. We are set. They are so sweet in here. Just gotta hang up my tag, which I don't know how they see that once I put my window thing in, but that's okay. They have a kitchen here and you can get food delivered to your site. Dinners, hot sandwiches, desserts inside, sides. Like seriously? I said, I'm gonna go park, hook everything up, and then I'm gonna come back up here and order dinner. This just got even better. Okay, so I think in our setup video a few months ago, we did not show a surge protector um, because ours had, oh no, I'm letting flies in. Ours had like died. So we had to buy another one, but we got another one. No, do I do 30 or 50? I don't really understand that. Shoot. All right, done. Okay, 30. Wait, am I supposed to do that? Oh, oops, my bad. Okay. All right, we're on. Okay, we are all set up. I got the window shades in. I got the electric plugged in. Um, just kind of reorganize some things in there. And now I wanna kind of walk around the park and then go order dinner. I might order dinner first because I think it closes early. I'm not gonna lie, it's beautiful here. And this is the cutest campground. I love it. I'm not gonna lie. I feel a little empowered doing all of this by myself. Like, solo traveler. Not bad. Feels good. I feel accomplished. Where'd my van go? I'm in the wrong lane. Oh, I passed our van. <laughs> As I'm saying, like, I feel accomplished. Walked by our van. Um, yeah. I mean, come on, right? Like, drove eight and a half hours today. I'm here, I got it all hooked up. Mr. Lemon did amazing. I got dinner on the way. I'm proud of myself. Just got a delivery to the van. Guys, this is like top notch service here. They even brought silverware and sauces and everything. Let's get a look at it. I ordered uh, like a barbecue turkey uh, some sauce, sweet potato fries. I don't know about that. That doesn't look that appealing to me. And then toast. Like, I'll take it. It looks great. Sunset is so pretty. The shower was great. Super hot water. It's a good day. Okay, the air conditioner's on, so it's gonna be loud. I'm too lazy to get the nice camera out. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to say I'm going to hop in my bed, watch some YouTube on my iPad, and then hopefully get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Never out.
got Bob on the phone. He was just, I was having some technical difficulties with the camera and the mic, but we got it all set. And I think it's time for me to head to Dallas to pick this guy up tonight at 8 p.m. Are you excited? Uh, super excited. I cannot wait to see you and be in the van. And officially, official, official start our trip. This is just a, a quick two day get in the van to Dallas. And then I feel like that's when the trip starts. All right, does so everything look good? Would Bob be proud of me? I think so. treated me really good. That was a fantastic stay. I'd come back. It's gonna be a good day. One hour later. I literally almost missed, no, I did miss the road to come to the gas station, but I'm here. We're here, I'm gonna fill her up. Mr. Lemon, I guess, him up. All right, let's get some gas. All right, back on the road. <sighs> now, the only real bummer part is I didn't have my phone automatically updating the time. So I thought I was getting out of here at like six o'clock this morning. Come to find out <laughs> we're an hour ahead of that. And it's 7.30 now. You just can't make this stuff up. I'm sure, Bob, as you're watching this, you're laughing. So here we go. We're on the road at 7.30 a.m. with seven hours to drive. So let's do it. going to be in Texas for a while. At least until tomorrow. Let's do it. Let's drive across the state of Texas. I'm not for sure. I'm trying to think how much we've shared about what this trip is for. Number one, we've been planning this for a while because Bob and I just celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary. Hold on, hold on. Let me get over here. We just celebrated our 25th year wedding anniversary um, a few days ago. So that's kind of how this idea was born. When we started to discuss what we'd like to do to celebrate that huge milestone. And, um, you know, we threw out a bunch of ideas of flying to places. And in the end, we both agreed that we would rather just take our van and go see Maine and Vermont and Connecticut and fall and maybe New York and maybe New Jersey. I don't know. So that's where we're headed and why we're headed up there. It's to celebrate our anniversary. And then also just to, you know, take Mr. Lemon on a trip since we've done so many improvements on him. And so far, so good, doing just great. Oh my gosh. We are in Dallas. Oh my goodness. My back is killing me. It is almost 6 p.m. 
I made a couple more stops than I was planning on it. Oh, but it is what it is. I'm here. I'm in Dallas. I am 14 minutes away from uh, us where I'm going to stop to wait until Bob gets off the airplane. So he will be here at the Dallas airport in two hours. So I'm just going to go uh, find somewhere to walk around for a couple of hours. Well, probably an hour and a half just because I've been sitting all day and my body is just like so sore and I need to work that all out. So that's what we're doing. That's the plan. I'm going to just go walk and then go get Bob. So I will not bore you with all of that. So I will see you when we're waiting for Bob at the airport. I see Bob. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Solo trip is almost over. Oh, he has a regular camera. That's funny. Ah. All right, I see Hillary coming around the corner. All right, here we go. It's gonna be crazy. You made it. Oh, he's here. Bob, you did it. Yes, I did. Let me tell you, the most stressful part of the entire trip was this airport. I can believe it. Keep left to merge onto North Exit toward Express North. We're together! Yay! Yay! Okay, so he's here. Guys, next week, the adventure starts. And the adventure will be... Where are we staying tonight? In the van. We have no idea. Somewhere. Somewhere in the van. Tune in next week to find out. Maine, here we come. Here we go. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. Happy All travels, right. guys. Bye, guys. Bye.